Good morning, friends. We're going to start this week with our, our Bible memory verse, and we're going to, if I can remember, we're also going to end with our Bible memory verse. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Nothing at all can separate us from God's love. And that's Romans 8, 39. I have pictures to show the story this week. Our true story is from the Bible, and it begins with a queen named Esther. Oh, you can barely see her there. She's right in front of her castle. Esther loved God, and she knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Next, we have a man named Haman. What was his name? Haman. Haman. That's right. Great listening, friends. Haman worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, Haman had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family one day. Haman told the king that he should get rid of a whole group of people. Doesn't that sound terrible? It was. When Esther heard this, she got so upset. The king didn't know that the people Haman wanted to get rid of were Queen Esther's family and friends. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that is so sad. Everyone show me your sad face. <laughs> Don't laugh, show me your sad face. Good job, good job. What should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. What was her cousin's name? Mordecai. Mordecai, very good. Mordecai reminded Esther that God loved her and he had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You are special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said yes. Hooray, Esther. Way to go. God had a plan for Esther, and God has a plan for you because God loves you. So tell me, friends, who loves you? God loves you. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Who loves you? God, God loves, loves me. me. Very good. <laughs> he does. God loves Esther and he had a plan for her. And God loves you and he has a plan for you. He has a plan for me. And God loves us all. Let's pray, friends. God, you are such a good God. Thank you for your plan for Esther. Thank you for the plans that you have for each one of us. Your plan is the best plan because you love us and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, we're going to do our Bible verse. I remembered. Nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Good job, friends. Have a good week. Bye.